Hi guys, my name is Desiree. Welcome to my channel again. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a trihackme room called the basics of Splunk. Splunk is a very popular SIM tool that is used to collect to analyze logs. So expect you know a uh, two line Splunk overview and how how its component works from this video, and also I will show you a different way that you could ingest logs in Splunk. And later in the video, I will show you how could you know a perform search through the logs using Splunk. Without any further delay, let's get started. This is TriHackMe platform, and I am in the room Splunk 101. Uh, be talking about uh, the basics of Splunk. So I'm assuming that you already have uh, your attack box up and running or if you are connected uh, via VPN, that's all good. And make sure you go ahead and start this machine because uh, this is where the Splunk instance is running from. So yeah, Splunk. Uh, Splunk is one of the leading SIM solutions in the market that provide the ability to collect, to analyze, and to correlate the network and machine logs in real time. And in this video, we just go through about the Splunk overview, the components, and different ways to ingest logs, and also to normalize, uh, yeah, the normalization of logs. All right. So next question, uh, just go ahead and then uh, start your machine, which has a Splunk running on it, and then go ahead, click complete. Task three, Splunk component. So Splunk has uh, three main components. We've got the index star, uh, search head, and the forwarder. So the forwarder itself, think of it as the agent, you know, that is being installed on the endpoint, and it is intended to be monitored, and its main task is to collect, yeah, to collect the data and then send it to Splunk. And the next is gonna be indexer because the forwarder send the data to indexer. Uh, indexer here it plays yeah, the main role in processing the data it receives from the forwarders. It, it takes the data and then normalizes it into field value pairs. So we also have a search head, and this is where you'll be spending most of the yeah, most of your time uh, at. So we've got the search head is the place within search and reporting up where a user can search at yeah, the index at uh, the indexed uh logs shown as below here right so i'm assuming that you've gone you know through this i'm gonna i'm not gonna read everything ali i'm gonna leave the link in the description in case uh, you haven't accessed try hack me before so here they're asking uh which component is used to collect and send data over this plank instance the component like uh, we saw before is the forwarder right and then next navigating splunk so yeah they're saying a uh, splunk bar uh since i do have a uh, splunk up and running here this is the splunk here so they're going to talk about this splunk bar which is here we've got the messages and settings or, or activities so and they're saying uh the splunk bar is where you will see yeah the default home screen and i don't go to the screen uh screenshot below and the other th the other important thing about maybe the uh like the like the home page we've got apps here so here if you want to perform a search you can just come here search uh search uh search and reporting section and also you can add even some you can add more apps you know once uh once you become familiar with splunk and you can just do whatever you want to do with it Sweet. So I'm not gonna like really uh spend more time here because I'm assuming that you've read this one and I will leave like I said I'm gonna link the link in the description for anyone who is interested. Right, so and then how the other important thing that we can talk about is is how we could ingest uh data into Splunk. So we come here on on Express Splunk and then add data. Once you click on add data, you will see that you have, you know, three options. You have to add data. You can upload data from your uh, from your computer. Also, files and ports on this Splunk platform or data from Splunk forwarder here. So, right, let's see what's the question here. They are saying in the add data tab, which option is used to collect data from the files and ports? So as you can see here, the, uh, it's it's the monitor. Monitor used, you know, to collect data from files and ports 
so the answer to this question is monitor and then next question we're going to ingest logs and then uh we go through the logs uh, in order to answer those questions so they are saying that splunk can ingest any data as per splunk documentation and the data source can be the event logs your website logs firewall or even database yep etc and the data source are grouped in two categories and here we have like files in the directories network event it operations cloud services database services and many more and here they are saying in this room we're just going to focus on the vpn logs and you should be able to download these ones let's say if you are uh, connecting to this one via vpn just uh download this file to your local computer or if you are doing this via the uh attack box just go ahead and ingest your logs from here so, so the logs are in this directory here so they are saying upload the data attached to the task and then create an index calling it vpn so the index just gonna yeah just the index of uh, for example every time when you upload or when you ingest the data into splunk you need to set you need to specify the index for example if if these are the vpn logs just say vpn if they are database log just say database or if they are coming from the windows event just say windows your yeah, windows logs and they want us to upload this and then uh create create the index and then we shall be able to answer this question so go ahead and then come to uh upload from my local computer here and then select the file come here if you go to this uh, directory root rooms and then splunk basics you should be able to see vpn logs which are in json format then go ahead uh click open so and once you're there we're going to create the set source type and here the type like we saw just uh json and then click next uh, so from here we're just going to you know to name yeah, the host field value from these logs let's just say maybe let's call it uh try hack me uh splunk should we call it yeah try hack me splunk maybe yep and then just click next and this is at uh, the uh just the description about the file uh, about the data that we just ingested in splunk the file name is vpn uh, logs.json and uh, this is the source type and the host is try hack me splunk the index is going to be the default one sweet and then once you're there so we can you know start searching or extract extract the field yeah which are available in the data that you have just ingested just go ahead and then click uh, start searching Right, so from the search bar here, you can see that they are saying the source is VPN logs, and the whole and this is the host, and the source type is JSON. So the number of the event uh, which are, are retrieved is uh, two thousand eight hundred sixty-two. So this is gonna be the answer to this question two eight sixty-two. Right, next, how many log event by the user Malena are captured? So if you come here on the left side, which is the panel field. If you scroll down a bit you see just you see that to have the usernames here yeah, we've got like 51 usernames so from there just you know can go ahead and then uh click on our uh, malena or the other way you can do it you know from the search bar just you know you can use string search and then type malena there then uh click search here so you should be able to see the number of events so let's click on malena here if you click on Marina, as you can see, Marina is added here on the search bar. And you can see the number of events. We've got six, uh, six zero events, which are, you know, you're rated to this user. So the answer to this question is six zero. Next, uh, what is the name associated with the IP address? Uh, 107 Okay, so they're asking for the name associated with the IP. First of all, uh, let's just delete this. Even if delete this, you should be able to see uh, the same number of event. And then, so uh, let's go through this field name since we're gonna use the, yeah, one of the field, uh, which is source IP. And then type here, source IP equal 
to this IP, which is 107-326-58. Double code. So we have 26 events. So the answer to this question is, uh, what is the name? Oh, they ask the name associated with this event. So if you go through uh, the logs here, we've got the username, which is Smith. Also, if you come here on the left uh, uh, side panel, if you click on the username, they should be able to show you the name is Smith. Right, so answer to this question is Smith. Next, what is the number of events that originated from all countries except France? So as you can see, they want the number of the event, you know, uh, from all countries except France. So here you can use uh, and not uh, logic operators here and then just can you know use either uh, the field name or the string of such or string of uh, free free text type France and then click search because the number for the event is 2814 2814 right uh, next question, how many VPN events were observed by the IP 107-320658? So they want the number of the event which are associated with the IP. Just come into the search bar and then uh, you can either use the source IP field or there's another way that you can use which is the way I prefer because it's like really quick. Uh, one, in case you don't know uh, the, yeah, the name of the field just put the IP there, do the free text search. Uh, 107.3.206.58 Number for event is 14. And next, so uh, in this room we explore the Splunk, its component and, and how it works. In the next video guys, I will be, uh, I'll be walking you through uh, these rooms as well consider to subscribe share and like if you are you know want to support my channel thank you appreciate it. thanks for watching guys i hope you learned uh, something from this video please consider to subscribe share and like i will see you in the next video ciao